Hey guys, welcome back, and today we got some pretty interesting things to talk about. For instance, like, Roblox literally just lost a settlement, and right now you can actually claim money from them, which is absolutely hilarious. Also, there is an avatar glitch going around right now that is affecting every single avatar on Roblox, and uh, people are freaking out. We have a lot of news to go over today, but guys, before we get into any of that, though, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, as you'll be up to date on the latest things going on in the Roblox community. Also, you literally become an epic gamer like dude people down below will tell you right now that you will become the most epic gamer who ever lived if you become a subscriber but gamers let's get straight into this news for today because we have a lot of different interesting things to talk about and i think the first thing i want to talk about today is how uh, i've like tricked the community again into believing a roblox youtuber got arrested yes i, I think i've done this little joke too many times here but uh it's honestly funny and i'm not gonna stop doing it uh so uh right now there is a thing going around of albert uh, being arrested and uh, I posted a tweet on Twitter about it and uh, now I, I'm gonna put make this clear I wasn't the first one who tweeted this out or anything like that but I, I right now have the biggest post talking about it and uh, a lot of people actually think Albert is arrested Mr. Flim Flam Mr. Flamingo and uh, I'm sorry to break it to you Honestly, I'm starting to realize I'm literally just reporting the fake news that I've created to you guys I'm sorry I'm sorry but uh, I'm very sorry to break it to you Flamingo has not been arrested uh, people are really trying to trick others with this uh like i i've actually seen legitimate posts of people like trying to convince other people that flamingo is actually arrested and i'm very sorry to break it to you he has not been arrested he is not in mr flim flam prison but uh, i feel like i have to address this little post i made uh, along with this so uh, i wrote on twitter flamingo just got arrested 2023 cannot get any worse and then chiseled went ahead and responded overdoing it now which uh, i totally agree like the meme is completely overdone it really isn't that funny anymore more, but I just tweeted it because I thought it was funny, okay, Chiseled? But uh, I decided to hit him back with a legendary reply that has almost a thousand likes on Twitter and all it is is me just scrolling through his YouTube channel videos and, uh, yeah, he <laughs> bro, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Bro, I ratioed him so freaking bad. I mean, d dude, he he's just gotta get off Twitter after that. Uh, but yeah, it was just kind of funny. And, uh, listen, I'm very sorry, Chiseled, I, but there's no way i couldn't have mentioned that uh with me talking about that tweet but uh yeah pretty funny stuff but uh we actually got like some real things to talk about today a pretty interesting update to the whole roblox avatar glitch that's been going around as of right now and it is definitely very interesting if you aren't currently aware there is a all the current i guess faces and avatars right now on roblox are being updated to this brand new roblox face the stevie standard and a lot of different people have had their characters updated to this now i myself have not had this updated to it on any avatars kaneko has and a, a lot of different people in the twitter community have also had this now originally we just thought this was just old roblox accounts getting updated to the stevie standard face like you know accounts that haven't been active in like 10 plus years but it looks like roblox right now is going through and updating all current avatars to this brand new face and it's very weird and uh of something very controversial that also happened was uh the former co-founder of roblox eric castle he had his avatar change to this face and a lot of people were upset about that and uh i also mentioned that in my last video talking about this i don't think it's right i don't think a uh, roblox should be updating a character of you know their their passed away co-founder who died 10 plus years ago there's just something morally not right about that. You know, I, I'm not going to make a big fuss about it. And I kind of understand what Roblox is doing here. If they are actually just updating all of their avatars. Uh, so, honestly, I don't really have that many, like, serious complaints about it. But some people actually are genuinely upset about that. And, uh, yeah, like, I read a tweet saying that they should get permission from his family to update a, his Roblox face. And I feel like that's just such an extreme thing. Like, I don't know, man. That's, a, that's a, just a tiny bit a little goofy, okay? I, that's all I'm gonna say. But, yeah, a lot of people are actually upset about all this right now. And, uh, I honestly don't really care all that much. It, it's just a Roblox face being updated. It's not that serious. 
But uh, we do have something kind of serious where you could actually take money from Roblox. Like, I'm not even joking. Well, it's not really like taking money from Roblox. But uh, I'll, I'll leave this in the description if you guys uh, do want to go ahead and get into the settlement on Roblox. It's robloxsettlement.com. So there was a class action lawsuit against Roblox. And it says here, if you used Roblox and your virtual items were removed from your account, you may be entitled to cash or Robux under a class action lawsuit, which is extremely interesting interesting and uh it pretty much says here if your individual share of the settlement is uh worth more than ten dollars you can elect to receive a cash payment instead of robux by submitting a claim by august 10th of 2023 so you guys gotta hurry up and do it but uh this is pretty much because from my general understanding roblox was removing uh people's ugc items so like you know an item would get removed from ugc and they just wouldn't refund people which is obviously really screwed up you know people paid money for these hats and they didn't get them and and Roblox went ahead and was just removing them, wasn't giving them anything in compensation. And then they started getting lawsuits and they finally made it so you actually do get refunded if a UGC does get taken down. But still, uh, th this is a thing that still applies. Like if you have gotten a UGC removed out of your inventory, you can actually receive Robux or cash settlement. Now, uh, your item has to be worth more than $10 for it to be, you know, $10, aka 1,000 Robux for you to go ahead and get a settlement from it and i don't think it really matters if you did get a refund or not i think because roblox eventually refunded everybody who had a roblox hat uh and they they, they didn't compensate them back you can look on the website for more information on it uh you could go ahead and make a submit a claim form on here and you might actually end up getting either robux or cash which is very interesting and uh i really think this is a good thing because you know what that really wasn't okay of roblox that was something a lot of people were upset with where they were spending tens of maybe hundreds of dollars on certain ugcs for them just to be removed off of the site they weren't getting you know paid back or compensated for it i remember a lot of people in the community were very upset so it's very awesome to see that uh you know roblox had pressure applied on them and they are having to pay the price it looks like 10 million dollars is uh what roblox will be having to pay here and uh, i don't think that they've admitted guilt here uh i think that's how it works like they've just went ahead and agreed to the settlement and the probably in the agreement is that they won't have to admit guilt that they did anything wrong but i don't know why roblox shouldn't do that straight from the get-go this should have been a system implemented into ugc day one and it wasn't but now that it wasn't they're finally paying the price now i encourage anybody that is interested in filing a claim do some research on this because uh, I, I might actually end up filing a claim myself i'm not fully like educated on this but uh i do know the reason why this is happening is because of the ugc mess that happened about a year or two ago so yeah it looks like they're paying the price if you had a ugc that you bought maybe get refunded or something like that you can look in to see if you're actually eligible to make a claim like i said the the website's right here i think it's robloxsettlement.com so you guys can go over to that but gabers i think we are right now wrapping up towards the end of today's video if you guys like today's video make sure to let me know down below but i think we're gonna end it here i'll see you guys later bye guys